Welcome back, my fellow dragonists. How you doing? Um, I'm your thigh. Um, can we first take a minute to appreciate the color? Like, this is such a, such a pretty color. I like this color. And then we got my mirror. Like, oh, where you going? You know I love you. But, so. On, I don't remember what video it was. On one of my videos, someone commented that they want to see spirits. Like, they want to know a way to see spirits. And so, um, coincidentally, like, this is such a coincidence, they went together so well. Um, I was shown this video, and then I learned about this sound that essentially allows you to see spirits, but they're not spirits. Um, it's more of a, like, mind trick, kind of. And so, without further ado, let's get on with today's video. Okay, so I've been watching Glam and Gore. I think that's the channel name. It's Mackenzie. I mean, I talk to like if I know her. <laughs> um, but she showed me this sound, so I thought, you know what? I'm going to make a video about it. Um, if like, I highly recommend that you go and watch her video because she talks a lot uh, more besides this noise or this frequency. Um, she talks about the LRAD. She talks about other things, and so like. I think you guys should go check her out. Go check out that. And like she doesn't know I'm making this video. But I think you should go check out that video. Because a lot of stuff that she says in that video should be, you know, taken accounted for. Um, but um, for today's video, we are going to be talking about sound. And we're going to be talking about a weird sound. Or it's not weird, but it's, it like, a lot. It, it messes with your mind. All right, so before we even start talking about anything, we first need to talk about sound. So there are two different types of sound. One is ultrasound and one is infrasound. And humans can only hear between 20 to 20,000 hertz, I believe that's what it was. And so if we hear anything below 20 hertz, or if there's something playing that's below 20 hertz, we can't hear it. Like, we physically can't hear it. Um... And I know, like, if you listen to something really, really loudly, it can eventually make you go deaf. 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 But, so, when you hear, like, everything vibrates. I vibrate. My mirror vibrates. Everything vibrates at a subatomic level. Uh, when you think about it, um, everything is made up of atoms. And atoms are always constantly moving. Even if they're in a solid object, they're still moving. They're just tightly compact and they're still vibrating. And sound is vibration of the air around you. That's how you hear sounds. Your ears have these um, sensitive hairs that pick up this, um, this wave of vibration in the air. And that's how you perceive sound. So when we hear something that's below 20 hertz, we can't hear it. But the human eyeballs, like this area, vibrates at, I think it was 18 hertz. So Vic Tandy is a British um, engineer and I think it said lecture on informa informative technology. I think that's what it said. I don't fully remember. But he was working in a medical lab, research lab, um, in nineteen eight in the nineteen eighties, and um, prior to all his experiences, a lot of people in the lab thought the lab was haunted. So he went into the lab knowing that, or having these beliefs that the lab was haunted. My hair is getting my hair believed that the lab was haunted. And so he was working and um, suddenly had this feeling that he was being watched. He suddenly had this feeling that something was in the room with him. He uh, felt like something was watching him. And eventually he ended up saying that he thought he seen, thought, thought, we're gonna put quotations because thought. He thought he seen an apparition at the corner of his eye in his peripheral vision he saw a like gray figure moving and so he got spooked obviously he thought he was seeing he thought he seen the ghost 
and um, the next day he went, I don't know why, but he brought his fencing sword to the laboratory, which I don't understand how, like that, like why, but I mean to each his own. Uh, he brought his fencing sword and he was polishing it when he noticed that the fencing sword was vibrating and automatically he knew, okay, something has to be causing this vibration. So Tandy eventually went on a hunt. He was looking for what was making this vibration. Comes to find out that there was a fan that was recently installed in the laboratory and this fan was producing this low frequency. And when he discovered this, he found out that that low frequency was the reason why he was feeling like when they fix the fan, this feeling of being watched, this feeling of a presence being there, this like everything just stopped. Like it was like someone hit the no button. Like Sally, we don't want your girls to have her kids. Basically what happened. And so like discovering this, this is where we're going to get to the kind of weird, the weird part. So like I said, your eyes vibrate at a frequency. Our eyes vibrate at 18 hertz. So when you play a frequency of 18 hertz, it will you will feel discomfort, you'll feel like you're being watched, you'll start seeing things. And that's where we, that's where I discovered the ghost frequency. So the ghost frequency is played at 18.92 hertz. And it is said that if you listen to it for a long period of time, you will begin to feel discomfort. You will begin to feel anxiety. It will make your knees buckle. You will start seeing apparitions. And literally, it's not your it's not that your house is haunted. It's not that, you know, this place is haunted, that place is haunted. This is a scientific thing. Um, with this vibration, it is co like the way the frequency wave is playing the same as your eyes, and it's playing, it's going at the same vibrations as everything up here. So it's going to mess with you a little bit. So I'm actually going to play a, a little bit of the ghost frequency for you. So I would advise that if you don't want to hear it, then just skip. A, just skip a little bit ahead so you don't have to hear it if you're brave enough to hear it boo i've listened to it like five times so we gonna listen to it again so uh, this is a, this is another warning if you don't want to hear the frequency then just skip to a part of this video i'll probably like wave my hands or something to let you know that it's the end um but this is the frequency Alright, hello. Wave my hands in front of the camera. Hello, how you doing? <laughs> um, so if you if you did not listen to it, well, okay. You know, I don't don't feel bad because like when Mackenzie first told me about it, I was like, no, I'm not gonna listen to it. And then after I listened to it after like after I like paused her video and didn't watch it for like two days, I was like, you know what? We're gonna do this. So, but if you did watch it, um, like, let me know in the comment sections. Did you feel anxiety? Did you feel any type of anxiety? 
Like, what was your experience while you were listening to the frequency? Like, let me know in the comment section. And, like, to me, this is fascinating because it's crazy how something... so And, like, your electronics, this is, like, also begs the difference. Like, I'm a believer in the paranormal, but I'm not quick to jump and say that something is a ghost because there's always a logical explanation. So, with that being said... Um, this also raises the question because, um, your refrigerator, your microwave, a lot of your electronics that you have in your house give off frequencies, even if you're not using them, even when you're using them, a lot of things give off frequencies that we can't hear. Therefore, knowing that if you have something in your house that is constantly playing this 18 hertz frequency and you think your house is haunted, that raises some questions. <laughs> um, like, I believe in ghosts. There are ghosts. I've had encounters. But, I mean, with this newfound knowledge, um, your house maybe could not be haunted. I mean, it could be this frequency that you're hearing. You don't know because you can't hear it. And that's what I find a little kind of scary because you can't hear it. You cannot hear this frequency. No matter what you do, you cannot hear this frequency, which is really, really crazy. I mean, because like I want to pull a prank on somebody and just play this frequency like blasting on a speaker because I mean, in Mackenzie's video, you know, the L red, I want to get a speaker and put it somewhere in my house and just blast this frequency and see what happens, like honestly. <laughs> But, like, that's just, like, that, that kind of terrifies me. Like, thinking, you know, you could think that you have a ghost, but you could, I mean, it could be this frequency or it could be a ghost. Like, now you never know. You'll never know if it's a ghost or you'll never know if it's a frequency. Like, it just raises a lot of questions. But that is it for today's video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you have any suggestions for any other videos, like, let me know in the comment sections because, I mean, I have... A good amount of time to record videos now <laughs> but that is it for today's video and if you made it to the end of the video I give you 75,000 dragon points and that is it for today's video I'll see y'all later bye guys